AMG GTR as thanks to Petronas. Now I say as thanks to Petronas because we are essentially spending the day with them and Mercedes uh, giving you a ridiculously cool insight behind the scenes at the German Grand Prix for a very special event. More on that shortly, I won't give it all away now, but this is of course the home Grand Prix of the Mercedes F1 team. So it's a big one anyway, but there's also an extra special layer on top of that as to why this one is particularly poignant. And then we are jumping in to one of these cars on the Hockenheim circuit for a hot lap with someone who really knows what they're doing. So here we are. This is iconic as it gets. This is the paddock entry. It's hallowed ground. Only things like this will get you in there. Coming by these, you wouldn't believe the amount of personal information you have to send off to Formula One, the FIA, just to make sure you are who you say you are. We've even had to submit serial numbers of the cameras that we're filming with just so we can share this with you today. It's super locked down. So to be able to get in here and take you with us virtually is a real honor. So thank you, Petra. Okay, in the car a minute ago I was talking about the hot laps. Come and check out our hot lap car. Same car, AMG GTR, unfettled. So in a minute we're gonna be able to find out what this is really like dynamically on track in the hands of a professional. But I want to draw your attention to this. 125 years of Mercedes in motorsport. Not only is this Mercedes home race, but it's also an anniversary of substantial note. So Mercedes and Petronas are going big. It's an extra special race. Taking you along for it. Since I left you stood the test of time like a leader. It got too far and I will always linger. You went away to feel the wind get a better. The work that I was on the verge looking back. We had all the reasons to split and we made it final when it's too far. So it's hard enough to get through the door with this thing in F1, never mind try and find a position to work in it. Uh, but Petronas have just launched this strategy to try and find the next trackside fluid engineer. So if you think or fancy working in F1 alongside Petronas and of course Mercedes, you're able to go onto LinkedIn now. In fact, I'll put the link below because I think it's a fascinating way of being able to work your way into F1. We're going to go into the lab later because they have a literal on-site, basically science lab uh, analyzing fuels just for Mercedes, which is incredible. But you can go online now and literally apply to be chosen to be a uh, trackside fluid engineer for Petronas. So I'm going to do it. Okay, in the name of showing you what you normally don't see, uh, I've managed to get Petronas to open the doors to something which I've never seen inside or knew existed. So walk while I talk. So inside here, we're gonna be checking out the Primax race fuel and the Centium oils, which the thing which has really piqued my interest is their Cooltech technology, which helps keep the internals of the engine cool. More on that later, but let's hop in the lab, see what's what. Okay, to my right here, with, the, with that sign there that says, team personnel only, uh, is the Petronas Trackside Lab. Now what goes on in here, is the fluid dynamics, fluid engineering. They have technicians and engineers analyzing fluids in real time, right next door to the Mercedes pits, making sure everything runs smooth and importantly, cool. We get, get to look inside. So as if this exists on site. Yes. So within this lab, Nazri and myself, we yeah. analyze all the Petronas fluids that go into the car. So the gearbox oil, Petronas Nutella, the engine oil, Petronas Intium, and the fuel, Petronas Premax. Okay. 
Okay. So we do that throughout the weekend before and after every session for the engine and gearbox oil. And then the fuel, we monitor uh, contamination, make sure it's not contaminated. Right. And we um, ensure that we're complying with FIA regulations. What are you looking for when it comes out of the car? So when the engine oil comes out of the car, we use yeah. this machine called a spectrometer. Uh -huh. And we are burning a sample to okay. monitor the amount of wear metals within that sample. Okay. So um, it will tell the exact amount of every single metal within, uh -huh. and if it's above a certain level, then we know that there may be an issue with a particular part of the engine. So every metal corresponds to a different part of the engine that the sure. team will know. And that's happening every session, in and out? At beginning and end of every session. Uh, and so you're, you're effectively installed in the team, so you travel with them for every race? Every single race. And your your flight points must look strong. <laughs> yeah, look at that, it's unreal. It's just an amazing experience. The team are all brilliant. It's been great to integrate with everyone and the drivers. And I've got a great mentor in Nazari, so I'm learning a lot so far. Yeah. And it's just great to put everything I learned at university forward and right. expanding my knowledge. Fantastic. This is before he goes inside the car. Okay, right. And this is after. Big difference. Big, difference. Big difference. So you have the what you call is getting all the metal yes. particle inside the oil, um, taking everything. Uh, so there is an acceptable level of metal wear because you know how the parts are have sure. friction between the components, yes. touching components. But and then it's our job to see whether it's acceptable or it's not acceptable. Yeah. And we tell the engineers, and they can take the necessary rectification work or so whatever yeah. it is. So is that, I mean, would you expect the fluid to look like that after a race or is that just a qualifying sample or a... Even a qualifying sample. Really? Yes. That intense, it just goes almost black. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. God, the, the friction must be insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes like a few thousand cycles in, yeah, in a second, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So I'm going to put uh, the electrode into the spectrometer. So it's a standard, uh, what you call, configuration that is used to analyze the oil. So this has been around like ages, I mean, I mean probably decades. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, everything is obviously inspired by the war. Sure. People want to make sure their tanks are what you call reliable. Showing oil being burned. Yeah. So you know how the light, I mean, uh, when we have fireworks, for example, uh -huh. you know how we have blue, green, yeah. red, yeah, yeah. so the green sometimes is cor correspond to copper, whatever it is. So we get an indication of how much each particular Let's metallic see. component right. is inside. It's just crazy this is happening in, like on site. I'm always fascinated about what you don't see, you know. Thanks for your time. Not a problem. Appreciate yeah. it, thank you. So quite rightly, you might be wondering why is Petronas actually in F1? Was well, the ultimate R&D bed, isn't it? I mean, there is no higher pinnacle of motorsport. The tolerances in this game, as you've just seen back there in the lab, are truly next level. And it results in things sounding like that running smoothly. And importantly, what I have learned, it's all about internally trying to keep and maintain the engine as cool as they possibly can. Petronas have been involved with Mercedes since they returned to F1, which was 10 years ago. Um, and as a result, they have been a key partner in the World Championships and why they are currently the best team on the grid. And that's what it's all about, R&D, learning, and ultimately the transfer and learning of this environment to road cars. That's why these engines are running so fantastically well. So to be here and witness it and be part of that ultimate R&D bed, very cool indeed. So believe it or not, in F1, it's actually a, quite a rare occurrence that the drivers get to practice the start. Of course, the start of the race is really important, but every race, the clutch setting is different. So if you look over my shoulder here, just at the edge of the pit lane, where you exit onto the track, you'll see that distinctly black area of rubber. So what's happening is the drivers are coming out, and rather than going straight out, they're stopping there before joining the circuit and everyone is practicing the biting point of their clutch settings. The start of the race is super important so any opportunity they get to be able to play with it, it's right there. Pretty cool feature. All right, so there's obviously one thing going on circuit in a cool car, that's fantastic, but going on the circuit before a Formula One Grand Prix is about to take place is an entirely different thing. You get a full feeling for the crowd, what, it's, what it must be like going around, seeing the same perspective of the drivers. 
So uh, I'm gonna skiddle it on, pop in our AMG GTR, and we shall uh, debrief when I step out. It's also just started raining, so no doubt there's gonna be, oh, hopefully, a disproportionate amount of sideways. So that was a hell of an experience. I mean, by pure coincidence, Petronas have a strap line which is keeping your inner cool. Uh, and I was thinking, man, it, if this guy goes any faster, I'm, I'm gonna need some of that inside of me because it was it was lit, it was absolutely rapid. Look at the start of this video, I was saying how difficult it is to even get in here. I was lucky to have that lap, but I don't actually have the rights to the footage. So Petronas have done us a solid and said you can watch it on their channel. So I put the link below. You've got to go and check out that lap. And also the chat with Bern, who was the, the driver, was amazing. So it's definitely worth checking it out. Link below. So there we have it. At least it stopped raining. Uh, not the result we wanted, but my personal experience, unbelievable. Uh, once again, inside filming it in there and on track is out of bounds. Uh, but take it from me, the, ex the experience being here with Petronas and Mercedes has been phenomenal. Uh, be sure to go over to the links below to uh, Petronas' channel. Uh, they have lots of the exclusive content that I can't share, so it's worth following those guys. And uh, hopefully, uh, you guys enjoy it so much that the uh, the content will be w welcome from future races. So be sure to like and subscribe. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.